What is going on everyone? This is a quick update, eights for eight update on the engine. I got a couple options here. I wanna know what you guys think. So here is one of the engines. This is what I pulled it out of. It's obviously a 2005 Silverado 2500. So it's a later Gen 3 six liter. So it's got the good rods and Overall, it's a very good starting point for making a lot of horsepower. Now, again, obviously pick and pull here. You don't know what's good and what's bad. There's a couple things going on here. So we got a blown out freeze plug here. And a blown out freeze plug here. Now, I'm not sure how common that is. I'm going to probably end up getting the cylinder heads off of this thing and tearing it apart a little bit seeing what I'm dealing with here, but I'm thinking this motor might be, eh, maybe a little hurt. We'll see. So, or at least the heads are hurt, but I have more sets of 243s than I know what to do with. So I guess that's a plus, but anyway, I got to get this thing apart and see the overall health of it and see if it's going to be a worthwhile candidate for this project. So, so that was this and this I picked up off of OfferUp for 200 bucks. It's a Gen 4, 5.3 out of an 07 Tahoe. I got the intake, the heads, the block. I didn't get anything else with it. I got a timing cover. That's, a, that's the other thing I got with it. But I have this as an option as well. So we're just gonna have to, you know, play things by ear. I do know that this engine was running when it was pulled. You know, everyone says ran when pulled, but this one was legitimately running when it was pulled. Uh, it did have one issue, which I'm going to, I'm going to attribute to maybe a cylinder head being bad. Maybe one of these 243s is bad. Uh, they were having an issue with cylinder six filling up with water. It's a little bit suspect. I'm not exactly sure what was causing that. I don't know. I haven't really dug into it at all, but that was an issue. So I may throw this thing together with a fresh set of head gaskets and see what happens. It's a incredibly good starting we'll call a race motor platform uh, but as far as the budget goes i guess i'd have to budget in like coil packs and valve covers and accessories i mean i got the good intake but then i gotta factor in a throttle body and i don't know we may end up borrowing some parts we may end up uh getting some parts off of this six liter i mean it's all parts that it's all parts that can end up being free i mean i could very easily strip this thing down and still sell the motor for a decent bit of money um a lot of it will need to be stripped down because i mean i did the bluetooth mod on the harness so <laughs> there'll be a, there'll be a little bit going on there to to do that but anyway i just wanted to fill you guys in on what i got going on as far as motor selection for the zephyr goes i am making progress on this eight for eight i have 17 other things going on right now so i got my truck as a super quick update on this I smoked every single component out of the 4L80 in this thing. So there is currently, you can see, no transmission in this thing. And it's just sitting here. But uh, as an update, uh, the coating didn't hold up very well. Uh, this motor, it's holding up pretty good as far as I know. The oil pressure was like 24 pounds at idle the last time I turned it off. So we'll change the oil and see how it's really doing. But as a quick update, this thing's running great. Uh, I got a customer project right here, GTR, doing a transmission on that thing, paying for, paying bills, paying for this, all this fun I'm having here. So anyway, this was just a quick ramble update on what's going on. Uh, another, if you guys care, <laughs> the truck, uh, it's getting a 4L80 uh, upgrade. So I had a torched 4L80 that I had taken out of it. It's now gone. I traded it for this good 4L80 from Pick and Pull. And this is actually the 4L80 that was attached to this engine. So these two were together at one point in time. But in any event, uh, this 4L80, I got it all tore apart. So right here on the bench, I got, I spent like a good 400 bucks on a recalibration kit and a trick kit from jake's performance so it comes with a heavy duty forward hub the hd snap ring and a couple other little mods for the inside got the accumulator block off so a couple little good parts inside of here that's gonna increase the strength of this unit here and 
hopefully allow me to make like seven, eight, nine hundred horsepower in my truck without any issues. But anyway, that's just a quick update. What's going on with the truck? And now an update on what's going on with the 8th Freight. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. What should I do? What route should I go? You know, Gen 4 seems like the Gen 4 5.3 sounds like the better option. And I think maybe keeping that 6 liter for my truck for when the motor inevitably does expire. Because I don't expect that to be here forever. Um, I was also thinking about swapping the reluctor wheel out on the crank. I might make a video on that. I haven't really seen much in the way of videos swapping out reluctor wheels, so maybe I'll swap that out on video and for the people and show you how hard it is or how easy it is. I don't know. I don't know how hard it is, but I mean, I guess I'll find out. Uh, I was just going to swap it to a Gen 4 reluctor, which would turn this motor into an LY6, which would then be a plug-and-play swap for my truck, and I wouldn't have to deal with the crank sensor uh, junk or whatever. And I guess there's like a different cam sensor on this thing. I don't even honestly know how that works, but... <laughs> anyway rambling on here that's it that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching let me know what you think in the comments i'll see you in the next one